What's going on guys, Joe with OMGRC here. So today, got some Venom products in front of us. Now, I just wanna let you guys know, anything that we sell on our website, we are not affiliate program, we are actual a dealer for all those companies. And uh, just to also let you guys know in regards to it is that if we are doing any kind of affiliate program, we would let you guys know. And But we always put a link in the description or as best as possible, put a link in the description when we get done with the video. So for right now, let's go ahead and get into this. I wanna let you guys know, or leave a comment down below. Let me know what you think about, not maybe it doesn't have to be Venom in general as a brand. What I'm getting at is the lithium polymer, you got lithium polymer, but these have the graphene in them. If you've had a graphene battery, I don't care if it's been in a, a drone or let's say a quadcopter, and, or just in your regular car, depending on you know your system or what have you that you're running on there, leave a comment down below. Let me know what your experiences were with them. These things have been out for a few years anyhow. So maybe some people have already had their experiences with them, good or bad, and uh, maybe you got more life cycles out of it than your normal LiPo. So that, with that being said, here's what's why I made this video too, is that uh, you know since I'm a dealer for Venom, I was talking to them and they're like, hey man, uh, if you need anything, let us know. And I was like, well, kind of need some batteries. Why? Just because of the fact that I run my cars almost like I'm running batteries every, almost every single day, if not every other day. And I love 3S LiPos. So I was like, he's like, well, I'm gonna go ahead. I'll send you some batteries. I'm like, really? Cool, man, I appreciate that. So thank you, big shout out to Venom for doing that for me. You know, the, the charger is awesome. So if you guys are considering it, I wouldn't consider it, buy it. These things fly off the shelf very fast anyhow. So usually I don't have much stock left in these. Uh, the, the Dual, if you guys are getting into it, into the hobby, I really recommend that you get at least a dual charger, if not a quad charger. That's what I just jumped to. It's always better to have more than not enough, but you know, it's based on budgets too. But uh, I wouldn't slouch on the charger. Make sure that it'll do storage charge, uh, not that, and make sure obviously it should balance. So make sure you get your balance boards. These things are great. They come well packed with a lot of different connectors. Um, so I've been running these things for a while to peak, uh, Power plants, these are peak racing here. Uh, this car is pretty demanding when it comes to the castle creation system, even the hobby wing system I had in it. With that being said, it pulls a lot of amps, a lot of juice, and uh, it heats up the batteries quite a bit. Now, uh, with that, pulling that much power through there, eh, you know, probably need to get different connectors anyhow. But for right now, it pulls a lot of power and it heats up the batteries. Now, that's where these graphene batteries are supposed to be a little bit cooler, less resistance, uh, more cycles out of them than your normal lithium polymer than your lithium polymer with graphene in it. So we'll see about that part of it. But yeah, I've been pulling, I've been running these things for over a year. They've been really good to me. And it's just that, well, you know, I like doing the speed runs and I'm running this thing back and forth, back and forth, and it's really not good to, if you're gonna gear it up, you don't really wanna do back and forth, back and forth too much. You really wanna get one or two runs in and you need to let the thing cool down. And that's not really my style. So. Uh, and with that being said, it heats up these batteries too. They're gonna pull a lot of juice. So I'm hoping, but I ran um, my Gen Zace batteries. They seem to handle that a little bit better. Uh, there, are, there are 50C over this 45C that's here. Maybe they're a little bit better quality. I don't know exactly on it, but I haven't ran them as much as I do these. Let me tell you why. The Gen Zace batteries are a little bit thicker. Right now they're just, they're being on a uh, storage charge right now, or I would do it uh, or show you. They're a little bit taller, so they don't fit into as much. So I, that's why I always use these. So these things have gotten lots of use out of them. I would say, you know, definitely over a hundred times I would have used these things. These things have definitely done very well. Uh, Cause I'm running them a, a few times a week, probably like three or four times a week. And maybe not this one cell, but back and forth. So that's that on that one. But I definitely wanna hear back from you guys. Let me know what you guys think about these things. Uh, I'll have some running videos of these and I'll, I'll definitely announce it that I'm running these or I'm running these. But I really wanted to kind of do some kind of challenge before, but I don't know how well I can do it because this won't be really a con a controlled condition as what I would like to be. Where I'd have like the same identical car, we're running the same setup, and we're seeing, you know, running them back and forth like at the same time or what have you uh, to see which batteries, you know, oh yeah, these graphene batteries do run a little bit cooler than and, you know than the regular lipos you know that would be something cool but and the only thing i could do really would be that i could run up and down the road you know maybe two two or three times i'm gonna need to let the cool the car cool down or the motor cool down electronic speed controller cool down and then run 
you know these graphenes but you know depending on the time of day things get hot pretty quick here in florida so it might not be able to cool down quite enough so uh you know we'll see but i definitely want to do something like that it would be kind of would definitely be a, a good thing to try but i don't think it'd be really that good of controlled conditions so uh Anyway, you guys leave a comment down below. Let me know what you think about that one. Anyhow, I don't want to keep rambling on, but I just want to give you guys a little bit of insight, you know, because you never really look at the batteries. You're always just running the vehicle. So, yeah, the, the, those batteries get a lot of punishment. So that is that for right now, and they're not a cheap. So there you go. So I don't buy a lot of those batteries. Thank you, Venom, again, for sending me these LiPo batteries. I definitely appreciate that one. And like I said, I'll put a link in the description below if you want to get that. I'll put a link in the description for the uh, Pro Charger as well. So... That is that. I appreciate you guys watching it as always. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. I always love your feedback. Let me know what you think. Until next time, this is Joe with OMGRC. You guys take care and thank you for watching.